If you want to mount a transducer in-haul on an aluminum boat, you want to use Vexlar's exclusive Aluminoducer. When installing the Aluminoducer, like any other transducer, preparation is key. Make sure you have everything you need close at hand. Take the time for surface preparation and locating the proper area for your Aluminoducer. These are the key ingredients to having a good transducer installation that will last for years. So please, take a few minutes to prepare. Also, the temperature should be at least 60 degrees while installing your transducer. The key to finding a good mounting spot is understanding the dynamics of how water flows under your hull at faster speeds. You'll need a spot where the water flow is smooth to maintain your depth reading at all speeds. Fiberglass boats often have a flat spot or pad at the very rear of the boat. This flat area is ideal for transducers and getting a good clear reading at high speeds is fairly easy. With aluminum hulls, this area may not be as obvious. Boats like this one with rivets along their bottom side create more turbulence in the water, so finding an area of the smooth water flow can be a challenge, but it is possible in most cases. Select an area within one foot of the center keel of the boat and directly in front of the bottom corner of the transom. This area is often near the drain plug. Your goal is to select an area that is between ridges or rivets, preferably on the driver's side of the boat. You need to select an area of the hull that does not have a dent or depression that might create a pocket of air while the boat is running at higher speeds. So check carefully to find a good spot. A simple straight edge ruler can be used on the bottom of your hull to ensure you have selected a non-warped area. Simply hold the straight edge up to the boat like this to check your hull. We recommend you test the different areas of the hull for the best installation location. To do this, Fill the rear area of your boat with an inch of water before you permanently epoxy the transducer into position. Remove the protective film from the transducer face. Go for a boat ride and use a small bag of sand or gravel to hold the transducer firmly to the hull and keep it under the thin layer of water you have in your boat. Once you get your boat on plane, see if your bottom reins are not lost. If they are, try a different position until you find an area of where your sonar sees bottom at all speeds. Once you've found the best location, you can go home and drain your boat, dry out the area, and follow the package instructions. Using the supplied Scotch-Brite pad, remove any paint, dirt, or coatings on aluminum. You must be down to the bare aluminum and the surface must be dry. Wipe off all loose dirt and dust. Using the supplied alcohol swab, wipe clean any dust or dirt you created from the target area on the hull and the face of the transducer. Dry the area with a clean paper towel or rag. Set the transducer in the prepared area and place four supplied foam positioning pads around the transducer as shown. This will keep the transducer from traveling once the transducer has been placed in your target spot. Using the pre-measured packet, mix both elements of the ACE adhesive together, following directions on the packet. Once thoroughly mixed, you have about 10 minutes to apply the special ACE adhesive. Remove the transducer from the target spot and apply the mixture to the transducer, not the bolt. Be sure to use all the epoxy in the packet. Now simply press the transducer back into the prepared area. Twist it slightly back and forth several times. This is done to make sure no air pockets remain under the transducer. The special ACE adhesive will set in about 30 minutes. Try not to move the boat around during this period. The foam cubes you have placed around the transducer keep it from drifting from the spot you have selected while the adhesive cures overnight. Do not turn on your sonar for at least 12 hours to ensure a solid connection between the transducer and the aluminum hull. Vexlar also has universal adapters available for a universal sonar in trolling motors and for the Illumiducer. These adapters will fit most current sonar models. Simply select the proper adapter to match your particular brand and model and connect it to a universal Illumiducer. Vexlar offers adapters to fit most brands on the market today. Head for vexlar.com for more information. <music>